What is a mental state? Because I get a lot of questions where you guys are confused and I completely understand why because I was confused for a long time too with all these coaches out here, law of attraction, law of assumption, doesn't matter, speaking in terminology that is not concrete or easy to understand. So I'm going to tell you and clear up hopefully any misconceptions or confusions when it comes to changing a state and what does that mean? So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. Hey everyone, it's Kimbala as Conscious Life and Success Coach and I am super excited to be here with you today. Before I dive in, my Glow the Fuck Up workshop it's a five hour live workshop. We meet on Zoom. You get a workbook included to work on yourself. Um, in addition to Zoom, I'm gonna do live hot seat coaching for as many people as I can get in all that time. And it's really fun. Every time I host this, it sells out really fast. Um, last time it was five hours. I ended up staying on eight hours. Does not mean every time I'm gonna do a full eight hours, but I am known to go over with anything and everything that I provide. So if this sounds like something fun for you where you wanna focus on you, your self-concept, it's not about SP. We're talking about you glowing the fuck up, getting people off pedestals, really taking your power back as the goddess you are or the god that you are and just getting up in my space, my energy, then you do not wanna miss this. You will also have access to the replay of the Zoom. That way, if you can join or you did and you just wanna be able to rewatch it whenever, I got you, my friend, it is all yours. So the link to join is in um, the description box below. I suggest you do it. We are meeting Sunday, January 30th at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. So I look forward to meeting you there. We will have scheduled breaks throughout as it's a long uh, session and I'm gonna have the puppy with me and she's going to need me to take care of her and let her out to use the bathroom. All right, so let's talk about what is a mental state. So this is one of the things that really confused me when I was going through this process of unlearning law of attraction and learning law of assumption. And again, even with law of assumption coaches, there's different beliefs and assumptions that they have as well. So a state is, I'm gonna give you the definition of it in a minute, but a lot of times when we're talking about imagination, we're talking about you know your mental state, changing your state of being, internal world, it is all the same, it's just different words describing the same thing. So here's the definition of a mental state. Is a, a mental state is a state of mind of a person. Mental states comprise a diverse class, including perception, pain experience, belief, desire, intention, emotion, and memory. Sensory states involve sense impressions like visual perceptions or bodily pains. So when we're understanding how we're changing our internal world, everything that was stated in here, which is perception, pain experience, belief, desire, intention, emotion, and memory are all created by thoughts. That's what they all are. You can't have emotions without thoughts. Whether you are thinking them subconsciously or consciously, their, your feelings and emotions are 100,000% produced by your thoughts. Um, desire is a thought. I am desiring something. You have to think of what it is that creates the desire. Intention is thinking. Um, memory is based off a thought. Everything is a thought. Even pictures come from a thought. You have to think of something. So we really want to understand what are we doing here, right? Because this is one of the things that really confused me and really hindered me a lot in transitioning from law of attraction to law of assumption, but really hindered me with law of attraction and still hindered me while I was learning law of assumption because there were so many confusing things. Even Neville, who I love, and this is the man who opened my eyes to everyone as you pushed out as well as law of assumption, um, really was a little bit confusing until you really reread all of his books over and over and over again and really start to understand what he's saying. Um, even when he talks about feeling is a secret, and a lot of people, and I, my belief, misinterpret that. They think it's about emotion, and it's not. It's about feeling as something natural that if you already have it, you would be a different version of you. So the goal is that 
we want to think new thoughts. That's what reprogramming the mind is. And there's different techniques like visualizing, scripting. There's different techniques like, you know, meditating, different things that can help slow the mind down, can help move you into your inner state to shift into the reality where you have what you want. But all day long, you're thinking to yourself. You're always, there's always thoughts going on in your mind. So if you really understand that thoughts do create our reality, then you really want to understand the importance of your mental diet as well as mastering your mind. And when you're shifting your thoughts, whatever you're doing, whether it's visualizing, which, you know, Neville was really about if you do SATs, any of those things, I mean, there's so many more, right? We, I'm not going to name them all, but any technique, all you're doing is thinking and focusing on a new story, a new reality. That's literally what you're doing. So it isn't a debate if you should do affirmations or not. You always are going to do affirmations, whether you do techniques only or you are sitting here paying attention to your mind as a conscious creator throughout the day and reprogramming your mind. You're doing it no matter what. So you want to really pay attention and understand that. I need to think new thoughts. If my, because this is deeper than just manifesting something in. Most people that come to me have a history where they want something and they're able to manifest it in, but they sure as hell don't fucking keep it. Or when the manifestation's in, it's rocky, it doesn't feel good. So this is who I'm speaking to. This isn't about, you don't need to drop the desire, drop the fucking story. All of us know, I'm so sick of hearing people talk about this all the time. All of us know, at least if you follow my channel for a while, you understand that you can easily think a thought and fucking have it manifest. The only reason why it won't is because you have other thousands of thoughts all day long that say otherwise. So that is why it is important if that is you when you are thinking of your specific person, if you're thinking of money and all day long, you have a story about your self-concept that says, I'm broke, I lack, you know, I can't, I'm struggling, you know, life is hard, it's, I never have enough money, things like that. Or all day long, you have a self-concept that I'm not loved, I'm not wanted, I'm not chosen, I'm being rejected. And all day long, you're focusing and noticing and observing and judging with your mind because that is your consciousness. That is what is creating your reality that you don't have what you want, whether it's a person or money, doesn't matter. So what you're doing is you're paying attention to your thoughts throughout the day. You're observing them. You're noticing them. You're being aware of what you're focusing on and you're shifting your focus. So your mental state comprises of all of the above. The perception is your thoughts. What are you thinking is happening? That's what assumptions are is your perception. I'm perceiving this is happening. I'm assuming this is happening. Beliefs to me are pretty much the same thing to an extent. Beliefs can be a little bit deeper than perception because your perception, you can shift it really fast once you have a different way of looking looking at it, meaning a different way of thinking about it. You'll shift instantly, right? You can shift perspective fast. Sometimes beliefs take longer to shift in you because you've had them uh, thought over and over and over and over again that there is a mental habitual pattern that is formed and it just runs on autopilot, which is what you're interrupting through the new thinking of the new thoughts, okay? So intentions are the same thing. I'm being intentional, which means I'm being clear and aware of what I'm focusing on, of what I'm thinking, of what I'm you know, creating in my mind. Memories are just pulling their thoughts. They're old memories, they're old stories, they're old thinking patterns that you've already experienced and you're just replaying them in your mind. So all of this game is again preceded by thought. So you do what techniques feel good to you because everybody's different. Some people love fucking revision. Some people don't. It's okay if you don't do revision, you'll still manifest what you want <laughs> because if you understand what, how manifesting is, 99.99% of you manifested something you didn't want or something you did want without even fucking knowing about revision. Same thing about visualizing, same thing about scripting. You don't have to write anything down. You can if you want to. I personally love to write. It's just a creative outlet for me. So I really get into scripting, but you do not have to, right? You really don't. Um, it's the same thing with sats. You know, so many people get hung up like you have to do sats. No, you don't, babes. I never even did sats before I even heard of Neville, didn't even know what the fuck sats was, and I still manifested what I wanted. <laughs> All of you probably were doing the same thing too, and sats doesn't work for everybody. I personally don't care for it. It's not one of my favorite techniques. So you decide for yourself what works best, what is fun and easy and enjoyable for you, 
But at the end of the day, you want to understand shifting your mental state is about thinking and focusing your new thoughts on the version of you that has what they want and the desired reality. Now, another thing that I think is important is I know I personally teach that I do want you to learn how to give yourself um, an inner emotional experience that is different from feeling rejected, from feeling not chosen and not wanted, or different from feeling broke, stressed out, and you know living in fear constantly. And the reason is not because you manifest through emotions, because you don't. You manifest through your thinkings. This is why we have specific thoughts, the specific, I always say that word wrong. I'm gonna fuck it up. So we're gonna say the specifics of that thought <laughs> manifest. So you want to understand that I want you so you break your dependence off the 3D of needing, you know, being conditional to circumstances and getting your fix of validation or reassurance and love and feelings of abundance through outside sources. You're going to break that through these techniques. These techniques will help shift you into the new reality. Now, and, and this way you break, you understand, I can give myself the same feeling that I believe something outside of me can give me. So then you don't need it outside of you, which is gonna help speed up your manifestation faster because when we think we need something, then we're focusing on, again, I don't have it, it's missing. This is why I need it because it's not a part of my life, okay? So the other thing too is that your thoughts, again, create your feelings and emotions and your state of being. So. When you keep changing your thinking over and over again throughout the day, eventually your feelings will catch up. Eventually you'll start producing different emotions because your new way of thinking will eventually become dominant and you're breaking the mental habits of the old thinking and the emotional patterns of that old thinking. So I hope this clears up any misconceptions. This really should be so much easier than what is currently out there. I'm not saying everyone's not teaching it easy, but it just gets a little frustrating when you just keep hearing like people saying thoughts don't create. And I'm like, then how come we're manifesting a specific person? Isn't that a specific thought? How come we're manifesting a specific amount of money? Isn't that a specific thought? How come we're manifesting specific cars and colors of cars, specific houses, specific this, specific that? Those are thoughts. So yes, they do manifest. Love you all. Cannot wait to see you in my Glow the Fuck Up workshop on Sunday. I'll see you. Bye.